Hi, she's on Anthony Trek movie, also known as Javidak the, the real. <laughs> oh yes. I'm the so. So what did you think of the real Javid? Now we can reveal it was me all along. You are you're technically my father, so that's it. <laughs> Just strange to be looking at you. Well, he he's retired now. Now the how how was that for you to finally did how did you feel about having to kind of keep the secret? It's the weirdest thing I've ever done because usually you just sort of go to work, you film something, then it goes on TV. This was a whole extra saga going on in my real life that I was unaware of, I'd never experienced before. Social media is a strange, very strange thing to be part of. And to use my, you know, dead father's name, he, he was coming back alive in a weird sense. So it's a strange, the whole thing was weird. But um, very enjoyable to see play out, actually. So for, for the second season, uh, what should we call you? Vok? Tyler, Vockler, Tyvok. What it's up to each audience member to make their mind up. That's the beauty of it. It's so un it's 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 vague. It, it, there's a there's a there's an ambiguity about it, which I love and which I love playing as well. So he's he's part of Starfleet. He's part of Klingon. It's unclear, you know. So. Well, when you say he's part of Starfleet, at last we left him on the Klingon home planet with Laurel. Is that kind of your zone for the season? It's uh, for a while, for a while, but he's going to have to weave in and out. It's, it, it's going to play out in an interesting way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, he's got to sort some stuff out of the Klingons. He's, he wants to see Burnham again. He wants to see him. So, so the what did you guys call it? The love rhombus? Is that still happening? Whatever shape. There's so many shapes. Um, it's a square. It's a square or a parallelogram. Right. Um, yeah. So there's still feelings with all parties, with Laurel, with Burnham. I would say so. If there's two people, then there's two feelings, yeah, because it's a four-way thing, yeah, definitely. Now, for the last season, one of the big things was there was a lot of Klingon dialogue with the Klingons it's some that went over at varying levels with people. Would you say you're doing more in English or in Klingon this year? I'm not sure. Well, I mean, as Tyler, you certainly did more in English, but, it, you know, yes. now that you're on Klingon. I think, I'm not sure. I don't know what how, so, if you know, sometimes when we read it, it's a subtitle. I don't know. I don't know, but... Um, I always like these subtitles because it adds a sort of extra layer of, it's like watching a foreign language movie, it keeps you in a, di a different world, but um, I don't know, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't, they haven't, I don't know if they've added the subtitles on here at all. How much do you know about where things are going? How, a, like for the first season, how much did you know when you were hired about the entire season and your arc? And then for the second season, is it the same thing where you kind of know? First season I knew, I knew what was happening, I knew where I was going to end up. Uh, but I didn't know each, you know, we don't get the exact details of each episode because that changes as we go. So, it's, But I knew I was a Klingon. I knew that I knew the big reveal. Um, this season we get we get a certain amount of info and some people can know what they want, some people can know more. It's up to, it's sort of, you know, up to, up to us in a way. Um, but there's, uh, we, we know the basics. We know enough. Okay, well, I've taken up enough of your time. It's nice seeing you again and, and thanks for being a good sport about Real Javid. Thank you, man. <laughs> okay, bye.